Hello everybody, I'm Amal Central and welcome back to Train Simulator 2021. It's been a while since we've been in this game. So I thought I'd return for this video where we are going to be taking a look on one of my classic favourite routes, Candlewick. Um, and we are going to be doing the usual tramways. It's been a while since I've driven on a tramway in this game, so I thought we would give it a whirl. So if I unpause that, Bob the F3 on, F1 on. So what we are going to be doing in this scenario that I have created, and literally called Balloon, as we're driving a balloon car, and takes us on an all-stopping um, tram service, just a usual tram run um, from Faraday all the way down to Edison, um, the last stop on the route. So it's a full passenger run, um, and we're going to be driving it in the balloon car, the Blackpool balloon tram, of which 27 were built. A few have been scrapped since, but most do still survive. All built in 1934. So we will get the headlight switched on. There we go. We will jump into the cab. We will get the... Doors opened because we need to do that. I think we need to move slightly forwards, don't we? So you will have to bear in mind with the weather. I put on like foggy weather for it to be nice. However, um, the issue with... There we go. 53. There we go. Doors are open. So the issue with the this map is it is a free to download map. Is this the tram and the map are free to download and don't require that many dependencies. So they are quick and easy to run. Um, but the only issue with this route is the weather that, as you can see, seems to go a little bit weird sometimes. Um, so we will just have to ignore that as we carry on with our route. The run should take us approximately 29 minutes. So I was going to have a little drive on the Blackpool tramway route, although unfortunately, as of yet, I haven't been able to sort it out on the new PC. I do have it installed, however, some of the dependencies are missing. So unfortunately, we can't drive that route as of yet. So I thought I'd take the balloon car on this route, as I don't think we've, we've never driven it on Candlewick. So I'll just ignore what's happening with the weather around us. So the tram car does come with the map download and it does all come as one package so you don't have to be downloading million one dependencies uh, it's probably one of the better routes to download and as i say it's free and to say it's a free map it is absolutely stunning so it is one and i do like driving it for the tram circuit on it um, it's also sort of based around the traditional era around the um, late 50s going on 1960s so as I say the unit that we are driving today is a fictional one um, obviously the map is fictional but is numbered 110 oh my goodness me what's going on let's just oh, I don't know what's going on with the camera views um, that's not the tram by the way that is the map that's causing those issues it seems to be the only fault on this um, on this route at all. So this um, route, um, Candlewick, or this this map, Candlewick, has two um, sort of runs. It has the tramway that we're doing, and it has the short railway as well that comes with a tram scenario using a ex London Transport tram car and a rail scenario that uses the Class 37. So this one I um, that we're driving now is one I've made myself from scratch. But the tram cars and the um, all most most if not all the objects um, that are made from scratch all do come with the routes. So you're not having to go all over to download dependencies. I don't know why that hasn't loaded there. Um, I'll have to ignore that. It, that. Usually most usually all of this map loads in, so I don't know why that's that's happened. Although to be fair, I don't know if I've visited this part of the map. I think we have done before at some point. Okay, the actual tram stops not over there. It's been a while since I've driven a tram in this game, I'm going to be honest with you. And I know that these tram stops in this are really small. There is somebody waiting for us. This is just cool. I, I do really like this route. 
I love all the old sort of all the all the style sort of dressed people as well. I feel like that looks quite cool. So it, it is just a really nice route to drive. Um, I think that person spawned in just as I was taking the screenshot then, so let's go for another one. So as I say, I don't know why some of the objects aren't loading in. Um, they usually tend to do, so I, my apologies if for whatever reason we seem to have that issue throughout this run. So as I said, the Blackpool tramway, um, the variant that I have of the route, is a very, very difficult one to find. Um, unfortunately, the links have been taken down now, um, and it is no longer available um, officially. So this is probably the, the best, the closest you can get um, to a really good tramway. I know that there's the Croydon tramway as well, however, I don't have all the dependencies to run that, sadly. So we will just have to stick with this, although I do prefer my traditional, my traditional trams. And all the stuff like that. Oh, it snowed. I mean, I did put winter on it, so it must just automatically come up as a snow if I do that. All of how the um, windows are reflectively like mucky, um, like they probably would be. Oh, we're speeding. Don't want to be speeding. Don't want to be speeding. Let's just. There we go. Let's tune that down. But the Blackpool tramway will be returning to Train Simulator very soon with the current Just Trains. Um, revamp reflecting the current post Super Tramp upgrade and Blackpool Tramway that will hopefully include a few classics like the balloon car and I have the boat car so I'll be using them on heritage tours as well as um, coming with the Flexity 2 Tram by Bombardier um, so they, are going to provide, they will be providing a proper model of that as well that's very exciting so there's no release date on that as of yet so you will have to um, sort of keep checking their streams every so often, seeing what's happening with that. I keep speeding without realising. Um, there we go. Thank you. So you will have to keep checking out their socials for that. And if I um, get word of any more information on it, I will be sure to let you all know. So the balloon cars um, near the end of the traditional tramway in 2011 were the oldest, um, the biggest and oldest fleet of um, tram cars in use on the tramway. Although other previous batches were purchased before them. And are we going to stop in time? I'm looking. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't want to fail on my own scenario. No, no, no. I failed on my own scenario. Um, let's just... Let's just back it up. <laughs> Everything's going well. I've overshot in a tram car. And um, there's just there's different levels of, of law. Um, and this is a new one. Overshot in a tram car. Come on, back up. Back it up. Back it up. There we go. <sighs> there we go. Let's just... It's because I'm still getting used to driving this as it's been so long since I've driven. Are you know, oh, we're now in front. Yeah, this is what I mean. We're now actually in front of the, um, of, yeah, yeah, technically in front. So, oh, there we go. Is that it? Is that it? Let's pre press the brakes on. I think we're going to have to fail this stop as I don't think it's, it's happy with us. I'll edge it forwards a little bit more. Bob the brake on. No, I don't think it's. I don't think it's liking us. So I know that the stop was quite small. So we will we'll fail this stop, pretend that there was nobody waiting. Um, and to be fair, there isn't anybody waiting, so we're not pretending on that um, parameter. And we shall continue. So yes, the balloon cars in Blackpool went through a lot um, during their time. As I say, starting off as 27 double deckers, half of them were open toppers, all becoming closed top um, very shortly after production. Um, a number of the units um, saw refurbishment, two of which um, were modified and became Jubilee cars. Um, two of which became Jubilee cars, numbered 761 and 762, with a front door um, entrance as well as a middle door still in situ. Um, they were renumbered um, after the two units that were pretty much scrapped and transformed into Jubilee cars. Additionally, on top of them, 
um, during the late 90s and going into the early 2000s. And the Minellium um, type tram came along that saw a number of balloon cars converted from um, this balloon styling um, being added with bus style seating and a Nokia phone or flat front um, at each end with bigger destination displays um, for use in a more modern um, tramway look. Um, all of the Minellium cars, along with a few balloon cars, um, got middle door conversions that basically heightened the door and made it so that they were able to be used on the new Supertram network and were able to stop on the new Supertram platforms. Um, they have been used every so often on the Flexity um, network as Pool B fleet vehicles as additional extras and spares. However, mostly see use on the Heritage Network alongside the Heritage Unmodified Fleet, and most of which have now been preserved and restored into their former glory. So I know that their current project at the moment is to get the Western Train um, refurbished, and there is currently a donation campaign taking place um, to raise funds for the return of the Western Train this autumn for this year's illuminations. So if you can donate to that, do donate in whatever way you can, um, as it, it will be nice to see 733 and 734 refurbished once again um, and ready for the new um, illumination season. So we're at Lumnans, let's slow it on down a bit earlier, unlike last time, so we can actually Get onto the stop correctly. Much, I'd much rather arriving slowly. Not that slowly. Uh, <laughs> much rather arriving slowly. Ah, um, oh, hot air balloon. Hello. Now I don't know. But I'm going to assume the doors are going to open on the left hand side here. I honestly don't know how this stops being set up. So this is going to be. Get my acceleration. <laughs> there we go. This is the only issue with these small stops. Have you still not? Oh, you still not recognised? Yeah, it, I haven't actually driven this yet. This is the first time I've driven this sort of stopping at all the stops. So this is the bit where I find out some of the stops probably aren't stoppable. Come on, set off again. Come on. Just gradually push it forwards. I think we're in the middle now. So I will put the brakes on. There we go. Yes, we are there. And we stop on that side to pick up, even though there's one on this side as well. So we're now at Lumnans. That I believe. Yep, we are four stops in. So we've got ten stops to go. So it's now a nice round number. So we have four stops in on our way to Edison. So it is a nice run, is this? As I say, I haven't added any. I could have added some rail traffic in as well, probably. Um, I just didn't. I didn't think. If I'm, if I'm honest with you, I didn't think. I just thought, oh, let's have a little drive at tram. So I might do that in future. But it is a lovely, nice short route, is this? It's definitely something that obviously you probably won't play on a daily basis um, but it is something that is quite nice to visit every so often like we're doing in this video. So it is, it is quite nice to drive something sort of in the older dimensions. Obviously the signals sort of aren't old but the rest of the map really does reflect an older period of time. That is quite nice, I've seen the mills and the industry. It is, a, it is a superb sort of map, is it? And if you look on the interior on the tram as well, if you notice the green um, swell seats have been made into red, sort of providing, oh, are we on a 15? Oh, no, no, okay, that was a very short-lived 15 that was unmarked. Yeah, as long as we're back on to, back into what we were. 
So if you have a look at this, it's sort of giving the old vintage red style on top of the green um, sort of swirled uh, Blackpool transport um, seating. So when I went, when I had a little look around the Rigby Road um, depot, um, when I took my bus over a couple of years ago for one of their events, and we got a little, we got a free tour of the site. So I do thank you, the I do thank the Blackpool Heritage Tours team for giving me a tour of the site. It's absolutely brilliant to have a little look around, especially someone that has just loved the trams since a child. Um, it was an absolute privilege to look around the entire depot at Rigby Road, something I'd been wanting to do for years. Um, but we did notice a lot of these seats in green, obviously, a lot of them were stacked up. So I might have to show you the photos that I took from that trip at some point. I might do that, I might do that in some sort of video, or like a photo compilation, I think, at some point in the future. To be fair, we, prob we probably could go, like, a little bit faster than 20 along this section. I mean, it could be a 30, going on 35. But it's still nice to sort of slow down and watch the scenery, as usually when you're driving on train simulator. Most people tend to go, like, 60, 70. Then there'll be those people who always drive the HST and the high-speed units, like, the, like you've got the 43s, the 91s, oh, the Voyagers. So you will pretty much spend most of your time going 100. So you, you rarely get to sort of have a run where you're driving, like, in this slow fashion and being able to just experience the scenery a little bit more. This is not something you tend to do in Train Simulator that much. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to push that a little bit. As this is the thing, still getting used to stopping at these tram stops. Are we not on the? You are. Oh, is it? We're ever so slightly, we, we could go ever so slightly forwards. <laughs> this video is majority, the majority of this video is watching me just, oh, no, the brake's on. Silly me. Oh. There we go, come on. This is the thing, it takes this tram a couple of seconds to sort of realise what's going on. Sometimes you've got to turn the toggle key up and down a few times. There we go, to get it going forwards. That's why it can be such a difficulty when you're lining it up for stops like this. There we go. So on stop number five at this point. I mean, I did say it would take us about half an hour, but it's probably going to take us a bit longer than that, seeing as I'm having to line up to the stops um, in a precise manner. So this does compare um, in quite a few dimensions to the... Manchester Metrolink video that we did on Bathwick and Somerset on the sort of like on Roblox um, last week. So it does it does compare to that a little bit. I mean, I'm wanting to get sort of me rail transport back in again, primarily tram cars, um, but also going on to trains as well. You gotta keep it. You gotta hold it down. You gotta hold the bell down so it actually works. So it's quite nice to sort of get back into the, this. Obviously, it's nice to have that transition between buses and trams. I'm um, seeing as I always feel that trams are very much underrated, um, very much underrated, especially the Blackpool ones. Blackpool ones are, are such a significant survivor. I know that it's a flexity network now, but they are still a, such a good survivor. Although we still have the bus part of what we're doing. Hello. Are you Bristol? You're right. So I know that in this game as well, in, in this map, the sort of vehicles are so detailed um, compared to other train simulator routes. They are very, very detailed. All oh, the smoke's coming out of chimneys. Oh, it, it just gives you that, it just gives you that warm sort of feel. It's like obviously it's like winter outside when you sort of see stuff like that in chimneys and you're on a tram car. 
it just gives you that haul um, and we haven't done any level of braking in time because I've been that busy and I'm having a little nosy as to what's going on outside that I just haven't used the brake. Oh, come on. Eek, 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 eek. You're not going to let me open those doors, are you? Nope, you're not because we've overshot because I was that busy admiring the chimneys. I forgot that Trinity Mill tram stop was here. Our second reverse job of the day. I can't seem to get these lined up, really. Uh, my apologies about that. This is, as I say, the, the primarily issue um, with creating a tramway is obviously your tram stops are precise, but then it basically means that when you're sort of stopping at them, it does make it incredibly tricky to sort of get it all right. That's a nice screenshot with the R2 to Faraday. So I am looking forward to this summer being able to return over to Blackpool and have a little look at the Blackpool Heritage Tours again. Um, one of my main goals at the moment is to take part in one of their gold weekends and last time I took part in a gold weekend I took my bus along to the bank, the August bank holiday event that they did the centenary event I took me bus along to that and spent most of sort of I spent the day sort of riding around on my bus and a few others um, and didn't sort of get a chance to go on the trams so my plan is, is to go over for gold weekend and then just spend all of it on the trams um, this summer so I'll be doing that at some point so expect a video when I do And I could apparently go 50 round here now. Oh no. Aww. Aww. It went to 50 round the bend and then went back to 20. Uh, yeah, again, as I, as I did say earlier, this is a freeware map, so there'll be little niggles and things like that. However, when it's free, you, you can't really complain, if I'm honest. It's still a lovely map. There we go, use the brake. This is a nice water feature and there's a bus on the bridge. Oh wow, that looks lovely. The only non-realistic thing about this tram is it doesn't simulate people sat inside. That's a bit of a shame. Um, I mean, unlike sort of the pace and stuff like that where people do spawn inside, um, this doesn't have that unfortunately. So that, that's the only negative alongside that and the boat car, both of them have the problem. I was initially going to have the boat car on this, but then I realised that it probably wouldn't have looked right, um, unlike the balloon car that just fits in here with the livery um, that's been provided. So if you do want me to take the boat car and a short working on this map, I could potentially have a little look at some of the spurs, some of the weird spurs and things that are on this map. Um, do let me know in the comments below and I will glad to take a little look at them in a future video if not i'm probably going to hang on a little bit longer for the brand new blackpool map um to a blackpool tramway route to hopefully be released by just trains i'm gonna try and nail this stop um big emphasis on try um come on oh don't know why you're lagging not like a mate. There we go. Break, 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 break. There we go. Hey, nailed it. There we go. Now we're making progress. That's a nice screen, eh? Yeah, that, that is nice. Oh, apart from that person spawning in and then um, jumping on the tram and then disappearing into the abyss. So if you notice as well, it has the um, pantograph. Um, I believe Blackpool designed that style themselves. Um, I know that... Are you literally stood by the entrance of the tram having just missed it? <laughs> Where it stood there then realised it missed it and just looked away from the tram in disappointment. It's 
Now let's see if we can nail the stop at Newton as well while we're at it. So we've done one, can't get too cocky about this. Got to try and nail this one and then we've got the other one coming up. So basically we are stopping at a lot more stops now. I think it's the majority of the stops as we arrive over to Edison Terminus. So as you can see, there we go, boom, sorted. As you can see, Edison, Edison Trans, Tram Spot um, is there, but we're not stopping there. We're stopping at the, the one after that is the terminus. Or the final, the final actual passenger stop on the route. So we are simulating a passenger working, not a depot run um, in this video. So I believe there's three different tram depots on this map. That does provide a lot of variety for different runnings. So there's a lot of potential, so if you do want to make a scenario for this at some point, um, don't hesitate to make one and let me know as I will gladly, um, gladly give it a spin. I'm going to need to up the power a little bit because it's going to stop. There we go, it stops just before, just before. As long as we don't miss it, we, we're doing all right. There we go. Nope, are we still not on it? Okay. Even though it's, it's quite clearly we're on the green on the screen. Unless you're in the middle, it, it sort of doesn't. You see, you don't have this problem in the real world. It's like you, you, you just stop and it's all right. So this is just a train simulator problem. So this is the thing, obviously, it's train simulator, not tram simulator. So it that's why it's, it's really not made for this. So I think we we have to sort of think it lucky that we can still have the potential to drive a, a Blackpool balloon car on train simulator um, on a tram route. That I just it, it's still a pretty pretty cool thing to do. So yeah, um, as before, obviously Candlewick is free, um, and you can also download. Um, I believe with the. Um, map itself as well as sort of coming with the balloon car in this livery I believe the um, balloon car in the Blackpool transport livery um, is also provided and there's a few different variants a few different fleet numbers 70 I think they've got 70, 702 um, 708 712 and another one all of them are in variations of the green and cream livery so you can have a little play around with them. Obviously, it doesn't provide much potential for sort of recreating a full um, 2010 output when the Blackpool Transport route's released. However, it still provides that um, heritage feel, and hopefully at some point people can make some reskins for them. Um, I'll also provide the links to the um, Blackpool, Blackpool Tram section on the UK train sim forums, so you can download um, the base Blackpool balloon car if for whatever reason it's not included with Candlewick itself. So we are in our final two stops now. We've got Edison Tram Stop and then Edison St. Eligius, I think. Uh, that was not how you pronounce that, but it's how we went anyway. So a bit of concentration is required at this point. Really want to try and nail this tram stop. I don't know why you're still slowing down at the rate you are. I, I'm not on the brake anymore. Oh, we've got ages to the tram. So this is the thing, obviously, when you when you sort of drive trains on trains, and you're used to having to brake in advance. And then with this, you realise how far the tram stop actually is away, and you go, hang on a sec. Why am I slowing down? This is a nice tram stop, is this, as it, it provides a lot of room um, that a few of us are up right. So because that person, I'm, I'm, I'm feared that I'm going to run him over, I'm just going to stop just before him. Um, so I don't mow him down, really. Because <laughs> he, was, he was really stood on the tram track at that point. And now he's proceeding to walk, proceeding to walk around in circles. So I don't know, don't know if he's been possessed or what, in some sort of Doctor Who magic. Um, but we'll, we'll leave him to crack on doing that, I think. And the person that has jumped on and again disappeared into the abyss. We're jumping on for our final stop, I think. So yes, we're at Edison tram stop and then Edison St. Eligius, I think. Eligius? Eligius? Something like that. <laughs> Somebody will know how to pronounce it in the comments, as it will be based off somewhere in the real world. <laughs> I 
So just the usual reminder, if you are enjoying this video and you get to the end and think, oh, I've enjoyed that, it's been a nice video, do give the video a like so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you've done. And as the usual reminder, if you are brand new to the channel, do consider subscribing as well for more content like this. Because as well as doing my bus stuff, I do have a little look at other public transports in the simulator world, as well as in the real life world, hopefully. So, as I say, when I go over to the Blackpool tramway, um, hopefully this summer, I will be sure... Oh, you went up. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. I will be sure to get a film, there, a bit of film there as well, so you can come along with me in video format. So I know there's a few others of you who commented um, on the Metrolink video mentioning yourselves that you're planning to go over to Gold Weekends. So hopefully um, Blackpool Transport and the Heritage Towers can get going with their Gold Weekends again. Because I think that would be really, really nice. Because as I said, I've been to the Gold Weekends, but I've never been able to properly experience them. As obviously I took my bus along, so I was sort of taking my bus on different runs with the free bus. That was nice, but it, it'll hopefully be nice to sort of return to the Blackpool trams. As last time I properly went on them was when Coronation Car 304 um, was relaunched um, on the Heritage Tours network. Are you serious to telling me that even though I am pretty much lined up there that you are not allowing me to? Yeah, I, I do see your point. I could probably pack a little bit further forwards, but even then I think you've been a little bit penetrancing. Come on, move forwards, go on. There we go, there we go. There we go, the doors have opened and I'm going to pause the screen and end the video there. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been something a bit different, um, adding sort of a little a little bit of variety to what I'm doing at the moment. Because that's what I'm trying to do is, I, I do like doing OMSI too, but it is really nice to have this variety in place. If you do have any suggestions for my train simulator content, as well as the OMSI 2 stuff and the Roblox um, transport simulator stuff, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. And once again, if you have enjoyed this video, and you think, damn, that, that was quite a nice video, do click the like button so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have. And if you are new, hello and welcome to the channel. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Do consider, uh, do consider subscribing so you can um, see more content like this, both from the train simulator world as well as other virtual games such as Omni 2, the Roblox transport simulators and the real transport industry world of buses, trams and trains. I would like to thank you all again for watching and I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.